Dr. Lisa is in the house. Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Masterson. I'm an OBGYN based in Santa Monica. I recommend that. It's a new guideline that if you have, if the mammogram reading says you have dense breasts, mm -hmm. then you should then you add it. A, a, right. an ultrasound. And there's different kinds of ultrasounds, different kinds of mammograms. That's why you have to really talk to your So they would let you know that, right? Exactly. Now, what I'm going to tell you is how important. What we're talking about today is going to save lives. Absolutely save yeah. lives. Oh, you this just is really awesome. awesome. Yes, and I love this packaging. But I've been trying to find my superhero healing powers. Chocolate, you're going to be happy about that because that's actually true because it contains magnesium, which alleviates cramps and actually helps give you energy. So you can keep having your chocolate later. And so these recommendations about the same room but not the same bed, and it's not the same bed that's so important because we worry about sudden infant death syndrome. That's a parent's biggest fear. It's our Friday news feed, and you just heard a question from Charisma who wants to know, is it really necessary to wear a bra to prevent sagging? I'm trying to combine a little Eastern and Western medicine, because I think we have a great perspective as um, you know, conservatively taught doctors to be able to look at other techniques and see how they really work well, you, and integrate them into it. But my brother, my mother had just had my newborn brother, mm -hmm. and basically she had to work. So I was left at home with this little baby, and I was 13 years old, and and I was with him all summer, all day long, almost 24-7, and that little baby drove me crazy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's a landmark house, and it's right here on the ocean. I mean, we are so fortunate to be able to look out at the ocean and be able to offer this to our patients. What I wanted to do was set up a kind of office where women, it took the fear factor uh, away from seeing your doctor for women, and it was more about taking care of yourself. That's great, and we have Dina here with us, and you're a little bit afraid of something, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, and that would be someone like me, an OBGYN, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, and we, we're going to get that fear away from you. NVP stands for nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, and it's essentially morning sickness, but it's a better name for morning sickness because morning sickness is a kind of a misnomer because it doesn't necessarily just happen in the morning. It can happen all day long. Right, yes. What's your, can I ask you, what, what is your favorite new therapy that you're using? I think it would be the Reiki, because I really like the idea of transmitting that sort of energy from the universe and taking that different energy and seeing how it can affect health. Hi, and welcome to Health and Heals with Dr. Lisa. Vaginal Kung Fu, also known as vaginal weightlifting, is an ancient Taoist practice. What you do to change your environment. Okay. And it's shown in studies that if you are eating with six or more people, you're likely to eat 76% more food. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, I'm Dr. Lisa reminding you to be well and be fabulous.